Hey, good morning, everybody. We are, well, as you're the CEO here, obviously, we are here in Baltimore, and we are getting ready to head over to Epworth to start the install that I did the design of up here that you can check out. And we're gonna actually be doing that install today. I'm excited about that. I actually came up last night and spent the night up here so I wouldn't have to be driving super, super early. So um, we're gonna be heading over to the church, getting started around like eight o'clock in the morning. And then we're gonna just power through and try and get everything done. Um, and I'll take y'all along with me from before and after. So let me go get some breakfast and then let's head to Epworth. All right, folks, we are here and let's take you inside. I got another trip to bring all the stuff in, but let's take you inside and talk you through what exactly we're going to do here. So let me hope somebody got the door open. All right, so what is the plan? Thankfully, originally when we were here, we thought that we were gonna have to pull sound from here, but we do not have to do that. What we're gonna do is add two access points on either side of this wall. Those are gonna run back to up there, and it looks like they built out a room up there. That's awesome. Let me head upstairs and see what they got now, and then the cameras are gonna be mounted here so let's go upstairs see what they did oh wow so they've actually built out a, a booth here really cool awesome mm -hmm. so yeah, that's awesome yeah. you, you're the, the map coming together <laughs> <laughs> So as much as I wanted to use the existing holes there, they're a little tight. So we're gonna be punching a new hole right under there so we can feed our new cables through. There we go. And I'm gonna pull enough slack so we can pull our cable. And then I will cinch that up. I actually probably tack it down to the ceiling to come back around. But let's run this and then we're gonna do it again. Now, one thing I will show that I may have overlooked or something else was changed. Every single jack on here has been used up as well as this gigabit switch now we're adding a switch upstairs um but i might need to get another switch for this maybe get a 16 or something right there um because the two cables i'm getting ready to run we're not going to have a connection hey, for that sir. all right so we got the cable tacked down and now we're just going to move to do the same thing on the outside of the hallway um, and then I'm going to be going back to Home Depot to get some supplies and then hopefully I can get a simple switch to add on to this down here um, so that every whatever I disconnected would be back connected again. So let me clean my mess up and then we're moving to the hallway. All right, we're doing good. I had to punch a new hole through there, drill a new hole through here because um, it was just too tight for the SDI cables for the security cameras. So, got enough room for a second line if we pull that. Now, I'm gonna have to drill another hole through that brick because that looks like that's pretty tight and I won't be able to get through there. Or I might be able to use that other hole that's right above that. But all we gotta do now is come up and then figure out how to get up stairs to the balcony. I mean, I could wrap it around here and then go up and over. Um, it all depends. All right, so we got more than enough cable going all the way over there to the new media booth area. And 
I ended up punching up a different hole on this other side since I was gonna come up this way. So the idea is I'm gonna tack this along here and then come up, get this up out of the way. Um, and now we need to figure out how we're gonna do the access points because we need to run those cables back this way as well too. And one is gonna be on either side. What I'm tempted to do is punch another cable, I mean hole through here. Well, actually, I don't need to do that. I can just come up and then over. I think I might do that and then run across here and kind of do the same thing there. As long as the ladder is high enough, I can just do a straight shot over to where the access point is. And what I might do is stagger these. I might put one right here close to this side and then stagger another one and put this one a little bit further up. So maybe right here and then put the other one back there and that should be enough to cover, hopefully. Man, like I said, this is a beautiful sanctuary. This ain't even color graded. You see that it goes from blue all the way to there. That's awesome. Can't wait to see what it looks like on the camera once it's up there. Oh, and then we also gotta hang the cameras. All right, folks, so similar to what we did before, like I said, this is a very deep sanctuary, long sanctuary. You see how far that is. Gonna do our laser level, because technically the camera's gonna go right here. I think, yeah, I wanna, I was gonna put it up under here, but I think, yeah, the doors go out. So I might actually put it right here to hang down so I don't get in the way of the camera, the security camera. But let's see how far of a distance this is. And to be quite honest, I might not be able to measure this one. I'm on the back wall. And I'm getting an error. So I think because of the distance. That's off of pulpit. So I'm not getting nothing from there. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> break this down. So this is going to, I guess the pole. I have it aimed at that pew here. So about right here was about 40. So let's do this again for the rest of the distance. We're right there. And still getting the air. Maybe I should have got the other laser level that can actually do a little bit further. Let's go off of that. Let's see. All right, that is 42. So we're at 80 just to that right there. So it is safe to say that the 30X will be more than enough of that. I guess I need to invest in a a better um, laser level. Now I'm wondering, so y'all can see the ceiling. Let's see what the ceiling is on this. Alright, so the ceiling is around 28 feet. So, so I think this laser level is only rated for about um, 65 feet. There were other ones, so I gotta go to Home Depot anyway. Maybe we might invest in another one. You never know. But let me... Yeah, I'm really trying to decide what I'm gonna do with the camera because we are gonna use the... the station... Oh, wrong angle, AJ. I like that shot. Maybe that'll be a good um, thumbnail shot. You know, I think I'm gonna try and go for mountain right under there. We'll see. 
because the security camera is completely center. Maybe I could move that over. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move that over. Um, Cause you'll still be able to get the shot inside of here. But, uh, and again, I think that might've actually been used as the camera in here instead. So if we do that, then that's definitely can go away. All right, so far we got the, we moved over the original camera. We mounted the PTZ camera. I'm going to get the static camera, which I'm probably gonna mount right under here. Um, so it'll give me a similar shot, and that's the Macos, and then we gotta dial that in. And then I have an SDI cable running for that one, power cable running for that, Ethernet cable running for power here and RS-232 running for here as well as fiber HDMI cable. So we got a bunch of cables. We're probably just going to dangle them down here and then pull them over and hook them up. Alright, so what we did is we tossed all our cables over here and then we're going to run them over to here and then connect and either tack them down right above that lip or right on the other side. So. Right now, I have the power cable to the Macos plugged in and the fiber HDMI plugged in. I have an Ethernet cable that's going to be for the internet, connect this camera to the network. RS-232 cable I need to pull over and then I need to get my spool of um, RG6 to make an SDI cable to fish that back over that side and then convert it back to HDMI for the A10 Mini Extreme. All right, we're making good time. What time is it? Oh, can't tell. Oh, can't tell until I turn. Oh, it's 10.30. So we're making really good time. Um, I got to go to Home Depot to get some pass-through plates. What is it? Oh, I didn't know what that was. Um, I got to go get some pass-through plates. Get some RG6 and some other stuff like that. So, some more supplies to finish this up. Alright, so we got a little hub here that will bridge that for all the other connections I had to disconnect. So, down here, I think we're done. Now, we're just going to um, move upstairs. And I've already terminated everything, all the wires and everything like that for the cameras. Um, they're finishing up the electrical. So what I most likely would do now is snip the cable for the ethernet that I have running to the camera, um, the PTZ camera, and then I'm gonna start mounting the access points and go from there. And again, we set all this stuff up before, so we should just need to be able to connect it, and that's it. All right, so, oh, almost dropped the rope. We got this one mounted here. I'm gonna loop the cables over and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but further down on the sanctuary. So home stretch, home stretch, home stretch. Alright folks, so we have moved into the media area. Um I have because it's just been running around, already terminated a lot of the cables here. So if you see here, the blue is what's coming from downstairs. So we have a connection. Blue is gonna be for the ATEM. Yellow is for the PC, this is for the PTZ, this one is for the one access point that I have up already that's on this side. This is for the other access point once I mount it, and this one is for the cloud key that is right there. So I am getting ready to mount the TV up here and then start bringing in everything to verify the images and everything from the cameras and then I need to go back down and dial in the static camera and then we go from there. All right, we're really, 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 really in the home stretch. We got the multi-view up, conduit, all that stuff got to be cleaned up, but uh, not a big deal. Now I need to figure out, based on this old sound system, how to pull audio from this and go into the ATEM. Um, then I also need to shorten up the cables that I have here on the floor 
since I pulled a whole bunch of extra just to make sure I had enough space based on where we were going to go. Need to probably make another trip to Home Depot because I forgot about um, the anchors that I can do to anchor the cables here because I need to put the cable that's on the other access point, I need to put that up and over as high as possible to get the wires out of the way. Um, and then possibly try and do some training. And I also have the RC32 right there. I need to put the remote on the table here. But um, yeah, yeah, yep. Feeling kind of good. All right, folks, just been a long day. Um, at this point, we got everything dialed in up here. Um, what I need to do now is probably go and get an RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable so we can bring sound in from here. Um, in theory, that should work because I said all the sound is coming from here. So um, I have every cable except for the RCA. So I'm gonna go get something to eat, go get some anchors to tie down these wires to the brick and everything like that. And then clean my mess up, do some training, go pass out. Yay. All right, folks, it has been a very, very long day. Um, about nine hours straight, and we got almost everything done. The only thing else, I need to tack down the rest of the wires. Um, climbing up the ladder all day just kind of got the best of me. Um, we need to test the audio. I ran back to Home Depot and got another... RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable um, so we're gonna verify the sound in the morning we're also going to do some training with everybody else and then I'm going to be heading to Mount Tabor to try and help them with some sound as well too we did their system and they were doing mainly zoom and now they're getting into live streaming and they said they had some questions or some issues with sound so they just wanted me instead of a zoom they wanted me to actually come by since i was going to be relatively closer than i would if i was um just out of richmond since i'm doing the stuff up here so yeah we'll be back tomorrow i'll give you a full tour of everything all right folks it is day number two we are heading back to epworth we didn't get a chance to finish the main thing i didn't finish was securing the lines to the access points on the wall, um, going back to the booth, and then, yeah, that's mainly it. And then we're going to be training the team. Oh, I also forgot, we didn't verify the sound coming through that box that was back there in the media booth area. So we're gonna test that, and then we're gonna start training everybody around like 9.30. I have a hard stop at around 12 30 to one o'clock because then i have to he head over to mount Tabor. um and, but i'm gonna give you a main tour after we finish doing everything at epworth and then we'll go from there so let's go all right folks we are done i didn't take you with the recording today because like i said we just had to do a couple of wiring and things like that but let me take you through an entire tour of everything that we've done here at epworth united methodist so, let me flip you around here. All right, so we got our first access point here. We have our other one right back there. We actually have the cable running up there at the top of the windows coming around and we've routed it there. We have the ABCAN's 30X PTZ right here, and we also have what y'all been asking about, the Makos um, SDI camera right here for our static shot. We have that running over SDI and power. This is running PoE power over Ethernet. We have a uh, RS-232 cable running there and a fiber HDMI cable that's running up and over. All right, let's head upstairs. Well, actually, let's head down the hallway first so we can show you. We pulled internet from the main router, and that's what we have, the blue line 
that is running hardline internet all the way here. We had to bore a new hole right there, as well as through the wall right here. That is what leads out and up to the balcony. Now they did some masterful work in this area that they um, closed off and had a wall here for the media area. Our cable runs up and over behind the back pew all the way over here. And you covered everything you did <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> then we have it feed here into a plate that's come, a pasting plate here. Oh, that's being fed over and then this is in the custom system the PTC control the a Mini extreme custom presentation system that they're using here with the a 32 inch TV here for the multi view this was um, interesting this was originally we thought we were going to be able to pull sound off of this but this is not wired at all so that's what we had to tape out for our audio but there is a bridge here that was we traced and this is what's sending the audio to all the other speakers throughout the rest of the um, building so we switched this and we're running we switched the main speakers to a quarter inch right here and then we have the XLR coming out that's converted running over and that is what's connecting into the ATEM right there for sound. And there's my scissors. I want to misplace those again. Um, we got a whole bunch of extra cable that we need to pull up here, but this is the junction of where all of our wires are coming. Let's see. This is my fiber HDMI cable that I need to pull up here. So we got a bunch of extra wires that we're going to clean up, but this is everything. So this is what the Makos SDI camera is getting very beautiful picture I had to turn off the auto white balance because it was because of the stained glass it was making everything look red um, based off of the stained glass that's behind it but we got a good picture here again this is a 30x zoom PTZ so y'all can see that I had originally this is almost around like 85 to 90 feet in length so we're able to get all the way up to the pulpit with that. So really, really cool. And again, right now they are using this for Zoom with the future going to live streaming, but that's not their focus right now. Main thing is having a better picture, better sound for Zoom for their congregants. Um, but they are excited about being able to move into some other live streaming because it doesn't mean that you have to reinvent the wheel and buy a whole bunch of brand new stuff. So that's what excited about helping another ministry share the message throughout the entire world. So really awesome. Thank you so much at Worth. And like I said, this is such, I love the sanctuary just because of the, the lights and everything just, ah, so anyway, thank you so much for joining us folks. Um, I am getting ready to head out to Mount Tabor, but Thank you again so much, Epworth United Methodist. Really appreciate it. Um, and again, this was a follow-up from another ministry that we did here in Baltimore. So um, thank you so much for the recommendation. I really appreciate it. So if you have any questions, let me know. There'll be a link down below to every single item that we used at, for this install. Um, and like I said, leave me um, comments if you have any questions, or you can email me at questions at ajhomes.com, and I'll get back to you within 48 to 72 hours. And hopefully Hopefully this gives you some insight or some um, tips on if you try to do something like this for your ministry. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks, this is AJ, we will see you on the next video, later.